Hi everyone, Janice here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about the Tony Mo Tough Old Boots Big Wallet. And you might be saying to yourself, well, Janice, I think you already did that video. Well, yes, I did do a video. It was actually my first video on YouTube about the big wallet. And I joke with Tony Mo that uh, his, his wallet inspired a YouTube channel because I never thought I'd have a channel but when I got the wallet, I felt like I wanted to share it with the world. It's a beautiful piece. Um, that one was beautiful also. It had different features, and Tony was just so great to work with. He helped me modify the wallet a little bit from that video, so you're gonna see it a little bit differently here, and um, I do recommend checking that video out because I do go into some of the other add-ons you can buy and a little bit about the pricing and just a little bit more detail. But. Let's get into this. So thank you, Tony Mo. first and foremost. This is a beautiful piece. And uh, for anyone watching, this is not a sponsored video. I did pay for this with my own money, but I am very grateful to Tony for the modifications. So this is personal size. It's 3.75 by 6.75, okay. It is chrome tanned leather, which means the leather was treated with some kind of chromium sulfate to, um, and they hand dyed it black and um, I just want to say that crumb tan leather is used in shoes. So picture like very expensive riding boots, you know, horseback riding with the red riding jacket. That's the image I want to give you what this leather is like. It's durable. It's very smooth. It's very fragrant. It smells wonderful. <laughs> I joke, this is my aromatherapy. It's just really, really a beautiful piece. Um, it is hand stitched, saddle stitched in black thread. So hopefully, you can see it looks like rope. It's a beautiful effect. I love the black on black. And uh, since it's hand stitched, you get about five or so stitches per inch, if that's of interest to anybody. The spine is one inch. And on the inside, I have four elastics. Okay, so one of the modifications right out, I didn't want an elastic closure. I wanted it to look like a wallet. So I asked Tony to give me a snap flap closure. So we'll start there. That's one of the differences right out you'll notice. I also wanted his boot logo on the flap. So when I carry it, hopefully you can see that. And it is a chunky monkey. <laughs> you can already get a sense of all that's in here. I love the logo, Tony. And uh, you can see how thick it carries quite a bit. It does have a little bit of tummy bulge, <laughs> but uh, we'll go through that. It, it stretches a little bit as you use it. So let's open her up. And so one of the other things, um, I'll just mention it's veg tan leather on the inside and also black. I added a snap here. So let me open this up so you can see what's going on here. So I loved the big wallet bill folders. I think that's one of the most unique things I've ever seen in a wallet. Certainly one of the, you know, just one of the selling points of the wallet, I'll say it that way, is the bill folders where you can put your denominations. The mesh coin purse is another really unique feature that I love, but I don't use cash a lot. So <laughs> this was one of the modifications too. You know, this, it comes like this, the big wallet. And this is great. You got the snap and your denominations, but I really only use cash for tips and for the little coffee shop in my work building because they only accept cash. So what I have here is I put the snap here on the secretarial pocket. So this is one of the pocket options that you could have. And um, this is the, uh, like I said, the secretarial flap. And what I did here was just tuck in a little laminated dashboard for my, I call it my mail station. So I've got stamps and I've got my return address labels, but uh, you can see St. Teresa for privacy. I'm just covering some stuff up. Oh, I also put in a wallet size magnifier I just got. I love this, my eyesight is changing as I, in my 40s, there you go. So Tony threw in a folder for me with a beautiful riveted pen holder. Thank you, Tony. It's really cute. So what I did was to gussy it up a little bit, I put uh, glitter washi tape to reinforce the spine a little bit. And uh, there are four elastics. I don't know if I said that earlier. Also, I got these Office Depot business card adhesive pockets. And I put pockets on the folder for my driver's license my business card and credit card. And let's open this up. So then I go into the travel section 
and I put my travel loyalty cards here. I don't try to take all my loyalty cards with me in my wallet. I just keep a couple, um, particularly for things that I frequently fly. And I've been asked definitely at the rental car, um, you know, do you know your number? So I keep those with me. And I just picked scrapbook paper. I should mention this was Anna Griffith. And um, I got a lot of this at Hobby Lobby. Uh, I think some of this might even be Tuesday morning. So there's that, okay. I've talked a lot about the Frizzizzle Made calendar, my travel calendar. There's a whole video on that. This is an Ollie clip. I had that asked in a separate video. I'll put a link below. And we're gonna keep going through this. So on the back, same idea. I put like a little laminate and I put my loyalty cards there. Pen holder, I love this pen holder. And there's that. So here's something else. I bought these files on Etsy. This is so cute, you guys. You buy the frame and then you buy the, uh, the font and then you make your monogram. And I tried to print this on glitter paper and it blurred the ink when I put it through the laminator. So I just have it on copy paper, but it's really, really cute. Um, and I had a notebook here. So when you open this up, I put the stickies and I had a notebook that I continued with this sort of, uh, you know, just this kind of design, this fancy peacock look. And um, it doesn't close when I close the wallet. So I've since taken this out because I added my emergency stuff. So I'm gonna get to that in a minute. But it is a big wallet. I'm only using three of the elastics, but you'll see why. So now we get into like a little bit more of a whimsical look. Um, again, I've got the pockets on here and I took my information out for privacy, but what I keep here on my health insurance card, my auto insurance, and my AAA. So again, I'm just using the um, Office Depot stickers on the dashboard. This is why the notebook is so chunky. I put samples of uh, Tylenol, my Band-Aids, all sorts of stuff in here. Alka-Seltzer, I've got alcohol wipes, eyeglass wipes, first aid, vitamin C, <laughs> you name it, I put in here uh, hand wipes, urinary tract infection, some women's stuff I won't go into, but um, you kind of get the idea. I do recommend that you have an emergency contact list. I keep a paper copy of my phone numbers in here, just in case if I lose my phone or something, I still have phone numbers. So that's a little tip. In the back, Tony um, put the more pockets for me. This is the classic two layer and it's got the edging. So you can put more pockets here. You got a pocket here and just a lot of room. I mean, this wallet comes with, you know, a lot of options and the snap closure. So the only other things I'm gonna show you are, Tony threw in um, a card holder. Thank you for that. Really beautiful. So that's gonna be part of my collection. And I showed this last video, but I absolutely love this. This is the um, key ring, keychain holder. So I do recommend you keep a spare key in your wallet. So that's what I'm gonna have in my wallet. And uh, that's all my goodies. So I will say this fits, this is a chunky monkey. If you ask me like for one criticism, I've loaded it up, <laughs> my fault. There's a lot in here, it's a brick, it is heavy. But if you're putting it in, you know, like your Sydney satchel, it fits beautifully, right? So let me try to sh zoom out a minute. So you kind of see how this comes together. And that's my video. Thank you for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like and subscribe if you did. Ciao for now.